Well, not only is the RTX 3060 going to be really expensive, but it's probably also going to be really hard to get. But if you still want to try and get one, I'm going to help you do that. Let's talk about it. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. So just the other day I made a video talking about how the RTX 3060 could be upwards of 500 plus US dollars depending on which model you try and buy, which is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, I said this last time and I'm going to say it again, but 330 US dollars was already a lot to charge for the RTX 3060 considering that the 960 only came in at a price of 200 US dollars. So yeah, that's a huge markup there. Even if you include inflation, that just seems a little bit off, but getting it for over $500 is just absolutely ridiculous. And to make things worse, over on Twitter, the user Zed shared a post from German retailer Pro Shop, which suggests some pretty low stock numbers for the RTX 3060. And if this turns out to be true for the rest of the world as well, well, yeah, it's going to be incredibly difficult to get your hands on any RTX 3060 model, no matter how expensive it is. But let's go ahead and take a look at what Pro Shop had to say on it and take a look at their numbers. And then I'll give you my thoughts on the best methods of how to still get an RTX 3060 if you're still interested. So according to Pro Shop, quote, we've now added the newest edition of the RTX 3000 range, RTX 3060. During the month of February, most of China is closed due to the Chinese New Year celebration, which means the production is closed. This affects the number of cards we will receive, which will be much lower than normal. We're expecting more shipments in the beginning of March. And then if we go ahead and take a look at their little chart here, it actually shows the various different models of RTX 3060s, and you'll notice that a lot of them are in pretty low supply. And in fact, a lot of them, they, apparently they're not even getting any of many of these different models. So yeah, this is not looking good here. But if we do take a look here, we can see that basically the only model that has at least somewhat decent supply is the RTX 3060 Dual, and by decent I mean it's still not very good. It, apparently they're only going to get 230 of these models in, but the whole rest of these are either basically not going to be supplied whatsoever, or they're getting less than 90 models. So that's not very good. Um, You know, I, I don't know necessarily how representative this is of basically the entire world or even uh, Europe as a whole, because I'm not sure how big Pro Shop is as a retailer. However, I have uh, had several people tell me that Pro Shop is a fairly big retailer in the past, at least I believe so. So yeah, this could be at least somewhat representative of maybe the uh, European numbers that you'll end up seeing out of the RTX 3060. However, it is possible that in the US you could see much greater numbers, but like they mentioned with the Chinese New Year going on here, it's likely that this will be affecting the production of these GPUs and you're probably not going to have an easy time getting basically any cards whatsoever. But yeah, the RTX 3060 launch, I think a lot of people were hoping that you would get a decent chance of getting your hands on some sort of model, even if you end up having to pay a little bit more. But now it looks like you're going to have to pay a whole lot bit more and on top of that, it's still going to be incredibly difficult. But like I mentioned earlier, if you're still interested in trying to get one of these GPUs, I'm going to do my best to help you. So the first thing that you need to do if you still want to get one of these is that you need to figure out when these cards are launching. Now, of course, it's going to be different based on where you're living. So check online and make sure that at least three different websites are confirming the exact same numbers for your exact area. If you can't find your exact area, just go ahead and if it says like Pacific time and you're in maybe mountain time, just go online and figure out what the difference is there. And then you'll know when exactly you need to wake up and be ready. Make sure that you are ready at least 10 minutes before these things drop, by the way. And the next step that you need to do is have all of your payment methods on you and ready to go. Now, of course, this includes your wallet as well, in case you're using that. Uh, if you're using PayPal or, or anything like that, make sure that you're signed in or that you know your passwords in case you do have to sign in. Uh, keep in mind that if you do have two-factor authentication enabled, that will make things a little bit slower for you. But of course, uh, that's the price you got to pay for extra security. So whether or not you want to keep that enabled or disable it for a little bit is totally totally on you. Personally, I wouldn't disable it, but I guess if you're getting really, really desperate, that is a way you could make things go a little bit faster. Uh, I know that some people say that Apple Pay is a really fast way to pay, so that's something that you could definitely keep in mind. And then the next thing you need to do is know what websites to have open. So this time around, it's probably not worth having NVIDIA's website open because apparently they're not making a Founders Edition model, which is probably part of the reason why these GPUs are so expensive because there's basically no one there to hold these GPUs in line. Some websites I would recommend having open would be maybe Best Buy. I would potentially have uh, Newegg open, maybe even Amazon. Amazon seems pretty difficult to get anything from them, so you know that might not be the first place I want to check. Uh, b &H Photo, you could always try there as well. Uh, if you're in another country, there may be other websites that you want to look at that I don't really know of. I'm I'm just talking about the US websites that I know of right now. And then on top of that, you're probably going to want to go to maybe even the manufacturer websites. I know for sure that EVGA would probably be a good place to go. I'm not entirely sure if they will have stock on day one, but if they do, it's probably a good place to check because even if you can't
can't get a card from them, if you can, you know, hit that auto notify button and then maybe get in line, that'd probably be a good way to do it. Because if you get in line, maybe within the first five seconds of these things launching, you might actually have a chance to go buy an RTX 3060 at some time in the future, which may not even be that far off. You may be able to maybe a week or two from now be able to potentially purchase an RTX 3060. And do keep in mind that when you're looking at getting RTX 3060s, make sure that you're looking at potentially the most expensive models because it's in these AIB's best interest to sell the most expensive models. So if you go for the cheapest model, you may actually not end up getting it for a really, really long time. Even if you wait in a line, uh, they just may not be making very many of them at all because they're going to make less money making those. So they're more incentivized to make the more expensive models. So be on the lookout for those specific models. And then the only other place you can really check is maybe bots like over on Discord. You have the uh, stock drops bot, which by the way, this morning, they actually did say that you can sign up for the RTX 3060 notification. So that may be worth doing. That may actually help you get directly to the uh, checkout page uh, a little bit quicker rather than sitting there and refreshing, which by the way, if you are refreshing websites, keep this in mind. While it is a good idea to refresh a page now and then if things aren't responding, uh, sometimes it is better to just wait it out. It really depends on what's going on. And then on top of that, you don't want to be refreshing too often because if you refresh too often, some of these websites will actually IP ban you for a little while. So make sure that you're not refreshing like every couple of seconds. You may want to give it a minute or two. Uh, otherwise, yeah, you could end up getting banned. But you know, other than that, um, my only other advice to you would be you just got to be fast because you're going to be competing with not only people, but subhuman uh, response times from bots who are going to be trying to buy these as quick as possible. So yeah, you're just going to have to be really fast, know where to go and just hope that you're going to be able to get one. And unfortunately, you're just going to have to grit your teeth and probably pay a whole lot of money because if these cards do end up being, you know, well over $400 and even potentially over $500 and maybe even closer to $550 with tax and shipping, obviously that's not a really good deal for an RTX 3060. But if you must have one, yeah, that might be the price you're going to have to pay. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think that the RTX 3060 is overpriced? And do you think that you're actually going to be able to have a decent chance of buying one? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and Nvidia get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.